Anderson was a former national golfer who learned the game while growing up in Florida. His father Steve says his son was also this country's former number one golfer. And while he may have been a pro, his goal was always to have what junior golfers become some of the best players in the world. Scott, he returned here with a vision to elevate the junior program to the level where his students could end up with scholarships into Division I or Division II um, universities in the U.S. And he was able to get two of his students into um, at that level. With this in mind, he also wanted to utilize this country's public golf courses to open up the game to underprivileged youths in the form of a Trinidad and Tobago Golf Academy. So he came up with a vision um, for a, the Academy of Trinidad and Tobago for golf. And it would embrace the juniors and get them into the first tee, which is now an internationally accepted um, institution for juniors that teach them not only golf, but it teaches them how to um, accomplish um, your dreams. The senior Anderson added that even during his illness, Scott made time for his students. Because of that level of commitment, his friends have now come together for the tournament, which would be played on what would have been his 39th birthday. But he always wanted to carry his teachings or the game of golf to other areas of the country that don't get the option of the quality course at Mokahar or the quality teachers he had. So you always want to carry his knowledge and his talent to these underprivileged areas or, or less explored areas. <clears throat> and he would go and help juniors in those areas, even the seniors in those areas, where they don't get the option of the good tutelage. Scott Anderson died peacefully in his sleep on January 25, 2017, from complications with brain cancer. And the proceeds from this tournament will go towards the Scott Anderson Young Achievers Award, which will see youngsters from underprivileged communities introduced to and nurtured in the sport of golf. Kent Fuentes, C-Sports.